Hi everybody, this is uh, Racer88. Thought I would give a quick demonstration of Multi Collector Pro software and how it can uh, help organize your watch collection and uh, information that you would like to keep recorded about it. This is the home screen and it's basically three panels. On the far left here is uh, a list of the various uh, manufacturers and uh, how many watches I have from each. Uh, the middle panel here are thumbnail images of each watch and on the right side here you see a preview of the information uh, for each watch. So if I click on one of the thumbnail images you'll see that the uh, preview panel changes. You'll see images here on the right that if you hover over uh, this uh, larger image will pop up. If I want to see it even larger I can double click on this and it will uh, open in the Microsoft Photos viewer. At the bottom here you can see links that I've uh, entered for information about that watch. Uh, in, in this area here you see the dimensions, uh, features, the type of movement and so on, where I got it from and uh, what I paid for it as well. That changes for each each watch that I click on of course. If I double click on one of the thumbnail images like this one here, the uh, item details comes up. I can edit this, of course, in this panel here. And I can add images down here if I want by uh, clicking add here and just upload them from my uh, files on my computer. On the right side here, there are various pages. This is the main page. Uh, the second page is item details. You can type in a description here, a country of origin here if you want, uh, the color, accessories, comments, links. On a third page, we have service records. You can put in, uh, you can type in a log uh, with dates and uh, what service was provided, where and how much. Or you can uh, have links to PDF files, which is what I've done with, with some of my watches. Another thing we can do is uh, click on the tags button here. I can open up features, for example, click on solar and uh, let's see, Bluetooth and hit done. And that shows the watches that have solar or Bluetooth. And I can scroll down all the thumbnail images here. And then we can clear the tags, click done, and then we're back to everything. If I want to just look at a particular uh, manufacturer, I can click on that in the left panel here, and that just quickly brings up the watches that I have with that brand or that manufacturer. We'll click back to all. If I want to add a new watch, click the add tab down here in the lower left opens up a uh, watch or an edit item panel and you just fill in the blanks here as many or as few as you would like add images down here click all the features here what type of watch it is here the date you acquired it the condition and so on source the you know the dealer that you bought it from price paid and again, you can access the different um, pages here with uh, further detailed service history. I'm going to hit cancel. There we go. And even though I did that, it added that new watch to my list here. I'm going to right click that and delete. There are other Pages we can open here. Uh, there are tool pages where uh, this uh, menu up here changes. Uh, click here, for example, you can do a backup, which is a good idea. These panels are all customizable. For example, I can change the size by dragging the borders uh, like that. I can also change the size of the thumbnail images by clicking on cards, scale, and as you can see, I can change the size of those. So this program is, is very customizable. 
and it'll just take some time and playing around with it to figure out what you like, what you don't like, and how you'd like to set it up. But this is how I've set it up. In the review, I've got a uh, link to the template that I used. Let me just double click on this one here. This is the Brightling. Uh, this shows the, you know, the template of the, uh, of the item details. That is customizable by clicking on this lower right button here, Edit Template. And here is that template. I took Multi Collector Pro's watch, or pre you know, they have a uh, downloadable template for watches. I customized that a bit, and my version is uh, downloadable in the review that I wrote. That's it. That's a quick demonstration. There's a lot more to it, and you'll just have to figure it out as you go along, just like I'm doing.